In only a few weeks, Beetlejuice will likely explode once more. But in the meanwhile, we can look forward to another amazing celestial show. T. Corona Borealis, TCB, is about to brighten 1,500 times faster than before, making it a beacon that can be seen with the unaided eye. This unusual explosion provides a rare window into the dynamic dynamics of the cosmos. What, then, makes TCB's outburst so noteworthy? This video will walk you through how to watch this recurrent nova, explain the process that gives it its amazing brilliance, and delve into the interesting science behind it. Come explore this cosmic phenomenon with us. Understanding T. Corona Borealis T. Corona Borealis, often known as TCB, is a remarkable recurrent nova situated approximately 3,000 light-years from Earth. This binary star system features a white dwarf and a companion red giant star that orbit each other roughly every 227.04 days. Each orbit results in a significant increase in brightness. In the coming weeks, TCB is expected to brighten dramatically making it visible to the naked eye and offering a unique opportunity to observe dynamic cosmic processes. The significance of this nova extends beyond its regular outbursts. Its proximity to Earth allows us to closely study the interactions between the two stars in the binary system. These interactions, especially the mass transfer from the red giant to the white dwarf, are crucial for understanding the life cycle of stars and the dynamics of binary systems. Moreover, the 80-year cycle of outbursts enables astronomers to plan detailed observations, providing valuable data that enhances our models of stellar evolution and behavior. The Process of a Recurrent Nova The recurrent nova phenomenon observed in T. Corona Borealis TCB, is a spectacular display of cosmic forces at work. The process begins with the white dwarf's strong gravitational pull, which allows it to accrete material from the outer atmosphere of its companion star over decades. This material, primarily hydrogen, accumulates on the white dwarf's surface. When the hydrogen layer becomes dense and hot enough, it undergoes a thermonuclear runaway, resulting in a sudden and intense release of energy that causes the system to brighten dramatically. This brightening is more than just a spectacular light show. It provides astronomers with crucial insights into thermonuclear processes and the behavior of materials under extreme conditions. The explosion ejects material into space, contributing to the interstellar medium and offering a laboratory for studying the nucleosynthesis of elements. Each outburst of TCB enriches our understanding of the processes driving stellar evolution and the chemical enrichment of the galaxy. These regular and intense outbursts from TCB provide astronomers with exciting opportunities to test their understanding of binary star systems and stellar explosions. Equipped with advanced technology, the global astronomical community eagerly awaits the next outburst, which promises to reveal new insights and potentially groundbreaking discoveries about the universe's stellar phenomena. How to observe T. Corona Borealis Observing this outburst is a unique and rewarding experience that requires some preparation. Corona Borealis is located in a relatively quiet part of the sky, making it easier to spot TCB using a smartphone app. Locate the constellation between Vega in Lyra and Arcturus in Bootes. The constellation resembles a semicircle, with TCB positioned just outside this pattern. Familiarizing yourself with this part of the sky is essential for spotting this nova when it brightens. Timing is crucial, as the exact moment of the outburst is unpredictable. Historical observations indicate that TCB's brightness drops just before an outburst. This drop has been observed recently, suggesting that a nova event is imminent. However, the exact timing remains uncertain, requiring regular observation. Keeping a close watch on this star over the next few weeks will increase your chances of witnessing the outburst. Comparative Star Observation Let's contrast TCB with Betelgeuse, another star that has captured public attention. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star in the constellation Orion, 
significantly different from TCB in composition and behavior. Unlike TCB's recurrent and predictable outbursts occurring approximately every 80 years due to accretion, Betelgeuse's future supernova is expected to be a once-in-a-lifetime event. However, its timing is highly uncertain and could occur anytime within the next 100,000 years. Betelgeuse's brightness fluctuations have led to speculation about an imminent supernova, especially during its notable dimming in late 2019 and early 2020. However, this dimming was later attributed to a dust cloud partially obscuring the star, rather than an indication of an imminent explosion. In contrast, TCB's outbursts are driven by the predictable accretion process of its binary system, making it a more reliable candidate for observation in the near term. By observing and documenting TCB's outburst, you can participate in the collective effort to understand these phenomena. Your observations can complement those of professional astronomers, adding valuable data to the study of recurrent novas. With the right preparation and a bit of patience, you can experience the thrill of seeing TCB's outbursts with your own eyes, connecting you directly to the dynamic processes of the cosmos. In the end, T Corona Borealis will soon brighten dramatically, becoming visible to the naked eye. This rare recurrent nova provides a unique view into the universe's dynamic processes. By understanding the science and knowing how to observe it, you can witness a stellar explosion firsthand. And be sure to locate the constellation Corona Borealis and keep an eye on the skies. You won't want to miss this once-in-a-lifetime event. That's it for this video.